好的，我们进行下一部分，也就是三五题的同讲。我们首先来看一下第八套题的第三题。那么我们也是先来阅读一下材料。Mary Dixon, director of the Student Life Committee, announced yesterday that beginning next semester, university cafeterias will broadcast classical music during meal times. Music will foster a more relaxed atmosphere, said Dixon. Students' lives are hectic, and meal times provide important opportunities to take a break and catch up with friends before moving on to the next class or assignment. Added Dixon. We are also hoping that if we provide the music, students will unplug their personal music devices. Their Walkmans and MP3 players or whatever, and will spend more time talking to each other. When students have their headphones on, they are not connecting with each other. 同样呢，我们阅读材料的时候呀，要注意 who, what, and why。我们注意到了这样一些关键词以后呀，我们就来审一下题。The man expresses his opinion of the university's plan. State his opinion and explain the reasons he gives for holding that opinion. 我们也是啊，先总结一下 university's plan， 然后再说一下 what's his opinion。What are the reasons? 这就是咱们答案构成的三个主要部分。然后看完这题目的要求呢，我们先来听一下听力。Now listen to two students discussing the university's plan. This article? Are they serious? Yeah, I think so. Why? Well, first of all, a lot of kids aren't looking for a relaxing break at lunchtime. They like to study while they eat, especially if they have exams coming up or some assignment they have to get done. Yeah, that's true. And now they won't be able to concentrate. This is going to be very distracting. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I see your point. And second, most students don't like classical music. It's certainly not what I listen to. So are people going to stop listening to their own music? No. I think people are going to be even more likely to bring their MP3 player. You know, to play their own music and block out the classical stuff. Yeah, that makes sense. 好的，听完了听力，咱们有没有记得要用三个部分来回答呢？我们来参考一下这个答案。The university is planning to broadcast classical music during meal times in cafeterias in order that students can relax and communicate more with each other. 这是对阅读材料的一个总结。The man in the conversation thinks it's a bad plan. First of all, he says that most of the students aren't looking for relaxing. In lunchtime, they'd rather study there, especially when they have exams coming up, or when they have many assignments on down. The music will be distracting, so the students won't be able to concentrate. Secondly, most students don't like classical music. If the cafeterias play classical music. Students will be more likely to put on their personal music devices to block out the classical stuff. 我们来接着看一下 TPO 第九套题的第三题。同样的，先阅读一段材料。那么这段材料呢，相较上一段材料而言啊，稍微专业性高一点。The business studies department at State University will now require all students enrolled. In its program to complete one semester of work experience in a local corporation or small business, it is felt that students will benefit from this work experience by developing leadership and organizational skills that would not normally be learned in the classroom or campus setting. Furthermore, the relationship that students establish with the company that they work for. May help them to secure permanent employment with that company once they have completed the program and graduated. 那么同样呢，我们要注意谁做出什么样的一些举动，然后他们给出的原因又是什么？我们来审一下题。The woman expresses her opinion of the university's new policy. State her opinion and explain the reasons she gives for holding that opinion. 一般啊，第三题的要求都是差不多的。我们首先要进行阅读材料的总结，然
，然后呢再给出这个人的观点，然后再给出他所提出的一些 reasons。那么知道这样一些题目要求以后呀，我们还是先听一下听力。Now listen to two students discussing the announcement. Read this announcement. Yeah, and I disagree. I don't think it will actually help students. Really? Why not? Well, they talked about leadership and organizational skills, but that's not really the kind of work you do. Like my older brothers had the kind of jobs they're talking about, and typically you're just there to do basic tasks like typing or filing stuff. Nothing very meaningful. Oh, so you wouldn't actually learn anything new? Exactly. I guess I see what you mean. But what about the other point they make? About this helping us after we graduate? I don't agree. How come? Well, the problem is that there are lots of other universities in our area that have the same requirement, so there are lots of other students at these positions. Yeah, I guess I hadn't thought of that. So even if you take a position like this in a company while you're still a student, once you graduate, the competition for permanent jobs will be impossible. I mean, there just won't be enough jobs available for all the business graduates in the city who will be looking for full-time work. Hmm, I see what you're saying. 好的，听力听完了，我们来参考一下这个观点，学习一下它的架构是如何的。The business department will now require all students to have one semester work experience in a local company, so that students can develop leadership and organizational skills and may secure permanent employment after graduation. 嗯，其实啊，这已经用了很多 reading material 里面的原词，咱们可以是照搬过来可以用的。The woman in the conversation doesn't think that policy will help students. 那么为什么呢 ？Firstly, the students don't do the work that can develop leadership and organizational skills. Typically, students are there to do basic jobs such as typing and filing. Secondly, there are many other universities in this area that have the same requirements. So there must be a lot of students holding the same positions. Thus, after graduation, the competition for business jobs will actually be fierce. 那么这两点啊，都用 firstly, secondly 来进行非常清晰的分割和总结。所以啊，咱们一定要学习用一些比较关键的连接词，让咱们的答案显得非常有逻辑性。那么接着我们来看一下第八套题的第五题。那么第五题呢，是直接听听力的。我们要先审一下题，看一下题目对我们的要求。Briefly summarize the problem the speakers are discussing, then state which solution you would recommend. Explain the reasons for your recommendation. 问题、解决方案，还有你自己的观点。这是咱们第五道题的一个整体的回答思路。那么知道这个题目的要求之后呢，我们先听一下听力。Listen to a conversation between two students. Hey, Steve. Are you ready for classes to start? Not really. There's still a big conflict in my course schedule. What's wrong? This is my last semester, and I've still got two required courses left to take in order to finish my literature degree. Okay. I have to take both history of the novel and Shakespeare, or I can't graduate. Problem is, the two courses meet at the same time. Uh oh. What are you gonna do? Well, I talked to the professor who's gonna teach Shakespeare. He said I could do an independent study to fulfill that requirement. How would that work? I'd read the assigned texts on my own, do all the same assignments, and meet with him when I need to if I have any questions. Well, that sounds like a good way to fulfill the requirement. Yeah. Plus, it'd be nice to have one-on-one -on -one discussions with the professor. It's just that, well, working on my own like that, I'm kind of concerned I won't be able to motivate myself to get the work done on time. It's easy to put things off when it's not an actual class, you know. Yeah. Are there other options? Um. Yeah. I found out that the Shakespeare class is being offered at another university about a half an hour from here. That university has a really great literature program, and our university will accept their credits. So. That's an idea. Yeah, I'm sure it'd be a good class, and it'd fulfill the requirement. Only thing is, you know, I'd have to drive a half an hour to get to the class and a half an hour to come back three times a week. That's a lot of time and gas money. 好的，听完了听力，大家还是按照三步走的战略来回答这个问题。The man has to take two courses to fulfill the requirement, but these two courses are scheduled at the same time. In the conversation, they talked about two possible solutions. The first solution, 非常清晰的说出来哈 
is to do independent study in the Shakespeare course. He can read texts, finish assignments on his own, and have discussions with the professor. But he's afraid that he won't be motivated. The second solution is to take the Shakespeare course in another university, but it takes him one hour to drive back and forth the universities. I would recommend that he take the Shakespeare course in the other university, since he won't be motivated if he studies independently. This is a good way to motivate him, although this will cost him some time and money. He will finish the course. 我们一定要注意啊，每一条方案的优缺点都在哪里，并且啊，都要设计，不能逃避这个方案的一个缺点，还要想办法把它扭转过来，有支持咱们的观点。所以这整个答案的三步走战略，咱们就这是一个可以套用的一个惯式了。我们来看一下 TPU 第九套题的第五题，同样的，还是要先总结一下问题是什么，然后 two solutions。还有你支持哪一方，并且给出你的原因，然后这个答案的整个架构就出来了。我们应该从哪里作答？那么知道题目的要求之后呢，我们先听一下听力。Listen to a conversation between two students. Hey Beth, how are things? Not great. Why? What's wrong? I just found out I have to move out of my apartment like right away. You're kidding. Why? Well, my apartment. It's in a house, a kind of old house, and now something's wrong with the water pipes. I think some of the pipes burst or wore out or something. Anyway, we don't have any water in the house, and apparently it's going to take about two weeks to fix the problem. So you need to find a place to live for what? Two weeks or so? Yeah, bad timing, huh? With midterm exams coming up and everything. So have you figured out what you're going to do? Well, some friends said I could stay at their place. They don't have an extra bedroom, but they said it'd be okay for me to sleep on their living room couch. You could probably handle that for a couple of weeks, right? I guess so. I mean, it's really nice of them to offer, and it's free. The only problem is they already have four people living there, so it could be a little crowded. And not ideal for studying for midterms. Yeah, too many distractions. Hmm. Any other options? Well, I did find this place. It's a small hotel over on Third Street, right near campus. Oh, right. A lot of kids' parents stay there when they come for a visit. Right. So I could get a room there. They have a weekly rate, and it's pretty reasonable. But I don't know. At least at the hotel, you'd have a space of your own. You know, so you could get more done. That's definitely a plus. But I have to think about it. Even though it's pretty cheap, it'll still end up costing me some money, and my budget's pretty tight right now. 好了，这种题目的题型啊，相信大家都非常熟悉了。我们来参考一下这个答案，大家可以对照一下。首先啊 ，What is the problem? The woman has to move out of her apartment right away because there is something wrong with the water pipe, and it's going to take about two weeks to fix it. Also, the midterm exams are coming up. 这是一个 problem. The first solution is to stay at some friend's place. The woman can sleep on the living room couch, but their place has already got four people. It will be a little bit of crowded. Plus, there will be many distractions. The second solution is to live in a hotel near campus. She could get a room there, but her budget is very tight now. Even if the weekly rate is reasonable, it will still end up costing her some money. 可以看到啊，这个局势也是非常的纠结。Considering the options and problems, I would recommend her to choose the first solution, since her budget is tight. Living at a friend's place can save her money. Considering the problems of distractions, she can just study in classroom and only sleep on the couch at night. 同样的三步走战略非常好的套在了这个题目上啊。然后，以上呢就是这一部分的全部内容了。非常感谢大家的倾听。